Hello everyone! Last week we forced the crown fit for the prince to wield those medallions of power that we've been gathering. But in the meantime, here's of the world, they've gathered their numbers and conquered Castle Nafria, disposing of Sire de Nefrius, now trapped in his blade Remornia, but also running into an old familiar spirit. Kelthar Sunstrider, you are free from the Sire's tyranny, but you cannot escape your own deeds. Come with me, and I will help you find atonement. In life, Kelthar led his people through the most dire of times. They were still high elves back then, enjoying the good magics of the Sunwell, but all of that changed when Arthas and the Skirt showed up. Arthas Menefil, now an agent of the Lich King, with Frostmourne in hand. Frostmourne connected to the Jailer. He was on a mission of bringing back Kelfuzad as a Lich, and to do that, they were gonna need the powers of the Sunwell. Despite the best efforts, and many brave heroes giving up their lives, heroes like Sylvanas Windrunner, none of them were able to defend the high home of the elves. Kelfuzad, he was brought back, corrupting their ancient fount of power. Kelfuz had no choice but to destroy it, revealing the addiction of the elves that had formed itself over generations. Not only that, there was also still the undead scourge left behind in their lands. While the prince, he tried to work together with the alliance at first, Grand Marshal Gedefos, he made that quite hard by giving him near impossible tasks. He even pushed it so far to place Kelfuz in the Dalaran prisons to await their execution with promises of salvation for his people, not to mention avoiding the executioner. The prince eventually teamed up with Lady Vush and Illidan Stormrage, but that salvation never came. Illidan kept his secrets close, and Kilfus was lured to the dark side, to the demonic side. Now allied to kill Jane the Deceiver and quite addicted to fell magic, he turned against his own people, tried to summon Kill Jaden into the world, until we put a stop to him, send him off into the Shadowlands where he was deemed worthy for Revendreth. Normally, Revendreth would actually help him try to atone for his sins in life, but not anymore, not under the rule of Sire de Nefrius. Instead, they amplified those sins, adding anima and the sins of others to the prideful prince's soul, while his pain and hatred were channeled to make him a powerful weapon. Kael'thas was on the verge of destruction when we rescued him from Nafria, unstable, confused and pushed to the edge of its own existence. The curator, she's taken it upon herself to try and redeem him, a task which is going to need all the help it can get. Out of my way! I shall avenge my people! Impudent child, you do not give orders here. The very arrogance that doomed you in life. Every choice. Help me identify the true sins of Kaelthos Sunstrider. What character flaw most hindered Kaelthos? Jealousy? Arrogance? Or greed? I never had need for gold. I had riches and power to spare. Jealousy? Please. I was superior to him in every way. Your arrogance swells within you, like so many other tyrants. When the Sunwell was destroyed, and Kael'thas was desperate to regain a magical connection for his people. Who did he surrender his will to? The Lich King? The Old Gods? Or the Burning Legion? Never! That monster took everything from me! The Old Gods held no sway over me. Till Jaden exploited your arrogance, paranoia, and obsession to bend you to his will. I have found the heaviest burden on Kael'thas Sunstrider's soul. How did Kael'thas fail his people? Did he abandon his people? Betray his people? Or corrupt his people? Kael'thas Sunstrider committed all of these sins against his own people. You cannot judge me. I did what was needed to save my people. You did what you wanted, 
and everyone else bore the consequences. Kael'thor Sunstrider, you failed your people. You will continue to unravel if we do not extract the excess anima from your soul, Kael'thos. I will take you to a place where we may expunge that anima in a productive manner. This place is in shambles. So are you. That is why we are here. The curator has no chill. At Darkwall Tower, the place where Prince Renafal suffered a great defeat. We help Kael'thos humble himself while the curator prepares the next ritual. His current state and trauma, it requires nothing short of perfect intervention and instruction to correct. When Prince Renafal fled Darkwall Tower, he was forced to leave many people and belongings behind. The powerful relics and weapons, they were long ago carted off to the master's lair. But the prince's dredgers, they were forced to stay and serve the master's traitorous lackeys instead. We saved them and sent them off to Sinfall, while also forcing Kael'thas to give up some of that extra anima that's bursting out of him. True leaders, they sacrifice of themselves to empower those under their care. Many Stoneborn and Gargan, including the prince's own pets, they were left dormant in Darkwall by the master's forces. That anima that he carries, it will be of great use to reanimate them, while the prince thinks we're too focused on his negative traits. He also has incredible strength, and we might as well put it to good use while he has it. Let's find the usurper that took the tower from the prince and get some sweet vengeance. You call this a challenge? I shall burn your world to ashes! No, you will show her mercy. Your enemy will live. Mercy is a weakness. She will pay. You are weakness. Your obsessive arrogance blinds you. In time, I will free you of it. But first we free him of those extra sins bound to his soul by the master. Something that would be a crushing burden for even the most noble of souls, which Kilfus certainly is not. Let us hope that our time with him has prepared his soul for the ritual. This ritual will help you expel the excess anima trapped inside of you, Kael'thas. It will hurt, but no more than you deserve. Now, Kael'thas! Expel the anima! No! I want its power! Impotent fool! That anima binds your sin stone! Release it, or I will throw you into the maw myself! Stand down! I will deal with this manifestation. I am... Free. Hardly. That sinstone still belongs to you, Kael'thas Sunstrider. Tend to it. The sinstone of Kael'thas Sunstrider, Lord of the Blood Elves. Deserter. Traitor. Tyrant. In the wake of his people's devastation, Kael'thas Sunstrider abandoned the survivors in pursuit of vengeance. Instead of seeking a cure for his people, Kill for Sunshiner led them into corruption for the sake of power. Rather than rebuild his kingdom's legacy, Kill for Sunshiner bartered it to the Legion as a conduit for darkness, pride, greed, wrath. To redeem this soul, all three must be expunged. He is now free of the corruption from the Master, but he is far from liberated of his own sins. Onward to the Chalice District for the next lesson. When Prince Renafal made his final stand at the Dark Wall Tower, he called for aid from many of the noble houses here, but none of them came. Most simply avoided the conflict out of self-preservation. Shameful, but understandable choice. However, one house they took action. Lord Blackbill replied with cruel mockery and sent his Stoneborn to aid the Master's armies instead. Renafal has not forgotten that betrayal. And since Kilfus is so fond of vengeance, let's give him some by taking out the Stoneborn. As we do, we also come across a suspicious weapon, unlike those wielded by most of the Venfeer. Yet the marks it bears are unmistakably familiar. The essence of the power, it also feels familiar to Kilfus. So we have to discover where these weapons came from and who imbued them with such power. An opportunity to test out my new weapon! The Tithe Lord will have your... <laughs> Our old friend the Tithe Lords, Harvester of Envy, 
They're the ones controlling this operation, working together with a lich from Eldraxis. And we're getting closer and closer to revealing the identity of the one who's been causing so much trouble behind the scenes. I must inform Prince Renathal of the Maldraxxus threat immediately. I am placing Kael'thas under your care, Marwalker. Humble him. We are the only thing standing between you and Oblivion, Kael'thas. The note we picked up. It mentioned a meeting in Darkhaven. Now, Kael'thas, he wouldn't want to tell us the best way to absolve his sins, as the accuser insists that we do. However, what if we would investigate? Gather some information, present it to the accuser and Renaval. It could be quite useful to them, and a very selfless act of assistance on his part. The death of the Master surely means... The Master's removal changes nothing. Tell Lady Wixera that I am still in charge, and... My carriage is upstairs. We will finish this discussion on the way. Now that we are away from itching ears, you can reassure Lady Wixera that our plan remains intact. We may even be able to increase the rate that we are supplying her with anima. That would please the Archlich greatly. Of course it would. Inform your lady, I am still in charge. Everything will proceed unless she fails to uphold her side. The Archlich will not allow her failure. I am pleased that we see eye to eye. If you're part of the Necrolords, then the next bit is gonna look familiar, as the two Covenants, they now pretty much do the same thing. Disrupt the Meldraxian camp and put a stop to their operations. But it is a bit disappointing that it doesn't really line up with each other. You could imagine that Draka now shows up and joins this bit of the campaign. But the way that we get here, the dialogue in between, the conversation at the end, it's not really compatible. You've got the Venfir going in here and taking care of business, and then the Necrolords, they're doing it again. It's a bit of a shame, it could have been cleaned up and just made it flow much more easy. But what can you do? With the camp and the operations put to a stop, it is time to confront Lady Quixara, the one sent over by Margrave Sindane to oversee the encampment. Let's have a little chat, kill for the style, maybe even find out who this Archlich is that they all keep yelling about. Unbind me! What magic is this? Why are you sending Anima to Mount Jaxus? Who do you serve? Answer me! You cannot stop my master. He is allied with the Banished One himself. Who? Who is your master? I serve the mighty Kel Fazad, and he will conquer all of. I will Fazad, return. The defiler of the Sunwell. At last, I will claim justice for Silvermoon! Finally, the new Baron for the House of Rituals has been revealed. It is none other than Kelfuzad, allied to the Jailer. He is the one that's been pulling the strings behind the scenes. This former human found himself allied to the Lich King, and used his call to the Damned to spread the plague across the lands of Lordaeron. A plague that was not only designed to kill its victims, it also brought them back as the mindless undead bound to the will of the Lich King. We took him on during Classic, but his phylactery, the thing binding him to the mortal world, it was never destroyed. This allowed him to make a return in Wrath the Lich King, yet once more, that phylactery evaded us. As a Lich, he's probably more at home in the Shadowlands than will ever be. At the same time, it seems like our time with Kilfus, it has not been a complete waste. He might boast and come across as arrogant, but he's also reflecting on his past life. After the Sunwell's destruction and the near extermination of my people, I vowed to claim vengeance upon Arthas and Kelfuzad. But I needed power to see that happen. And to seize that power, I... Kelfus grows quiet. I am ready to return to Sinfall. I must recover my strength for what lies ahead, as the accuser is so fond of reminding me I have much to ponder. Make no mistake. 
I will have my vengeance. But I suppose I can afford a measure of patience. Be sure to inform the accuser of my selflessness. I look upon you and dare. So it is true. The Tithe Lord is working with Maldraxxus. We must plan our next move carefully. No more surprises. I shall extract more information from the souls we recovered from the Master's lair. And I shall reach out to my most trusted contacts in Maldraxxus. Come, Kael'thas. You served well today, but nothing has been atoned for. You speak of atonement. It is the Lich Kel'Thuzad who will atone for his crimes. I will burn his icy bones to ash. Focus on yourself. Your hatred will only hinder you. We'll need some time to calculate our next move, join force with the Necrolords, and deal with Kel'Thuzad. But that's gonna be for next time. For now, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time, see ya!